Coaches, this is for Saturday, the 21st. Uh, before we get going for this day, remind people that the super meet is going on up at CrossFit The Point. Uh, the workouts and the lifts will start at 9 a.m. Um, and we'll go from there. So remind your athletes to come check it out and cheer on. Get as many people as we can there to support the athletes coming out to lift huge, huge numbers. For the workout today, Othniel will make sure today um, to help our athletes understand that this is going to be a lactic acid bath, meaning that those quads are gonna be firing off and basically doing all and every bit of the work for today's workout. We really want everyone to understand how to go out hard and try to hold that hard effort and almost be reckless with that first part. So those first three rounds, we want people to go hard, feel the burn, and they have that rest to sustain themselves. And if done correctly and within the right level for themselves, they'll be able to have a, hopefully around a one-to-one -one rest before going into that next um, increased effort. And that increased effort is just an ability to be able to hold on to what they're do doing before. We will only encourage people that what can help determine their levels for today is gonna to be unbroken wall balls and then faster pace on the bike that is difficult but can be sustainable. So. Let's help our members get there. Big thing that we're focusing on is the big depth. Help people with the bike and understanding that as we're going, we're trying to drive those elbows behind the wrists, going back and forth. We don't wanna see any wing coming out here. We don't wanna see uh, knees going out either. We want everything going forward. We want the knees driving the foot, that midfoot arch area right over the top of the pedal down. That can help people determine how high their seats should be. You should have a very, very slight bend in the knee at the bottom of the pedal. So let's kind of hit those little, little small details that can help optimize everything for today's workout. Um, with our mini pump, we're going to just make sure that we're there first demonstrating the movements, all those movements and how to do them are within the videos in the coach's notes. So make sure to utilize those so that you can demonstrate properly for your athletes. And then as we're going through this, like just open period of time to move through this mini pump, focusing on the arms and the core, is help your athletes hit the movements correctly. When we are doing those movements controlled or in control and full range of motion, they're going to get that pump and that's the idea is we want them walking, walking away, feeling the rest of their Saturday day like they're just feeling huge and they're getting, they got that solid core and arm pump to show off for the day, okay? Um, we just want our members to feel good, create that community aspect. During the pump is probably the best time to bring people together. Don't make it unnatural, but help people understand that we're there to have a good time together. Enjoy your Saturday.